We get so many patients here um, that haven't been able to have their needs addressed elsewhere, and they're coming to us for a reason. They're coming to us because they've been to one, two, three, four, five different dentists who haven't been able to treat them, um, and they feel exhausted by the runaround and frustrated that um, they haven't been able to get treatment for their children. Um, and by the time they come to us, we know like we're not referring anywhere else. Any patient that comes to us, we're gonna figure out what we need to do to take care of their treatment. She was having a lot of pain in one of her back molars. So they did an emergency root canal procedure to start with. So it was good that we came when we did. Any, any longer of a wait, it would have been even worse. But they made her really comfortable, explained everything very well to her to help with being scared. We uh, chose to go to the University of Illinois dentistry school for Charlie's treatment because one of our members, Dr. Brittany Hill, uh, is resident there. In conversation with her about uh, our needs and Charlie's needs, uh, we decided that we would give it a shot. It turned out that not only were the facilities good and Dr. Hill's practice strong, uh, but she ended up being the best doctor we could have hoped for for Charlie. It's really rewarding to see a patient go from being afraid to sit in the chair and working up to um, engaging in the experience or even sometimes saying that, oh, this is really cool. I, I think I want to be a dentist one day. And I think that that's really the main goal, just to make sure that these patients aren't afraid and that they're willing and excited about the experience because once they are, it's easier for them to take care of things at home as far as brushing and flossing. They see the dentist as a fun place to go and not somewhere where they should be afraid. Our role is to not only treat the child, but to educate the parents. A lot of these kids develop cavities that are um, preventable and, um, and can be easily prevented via oral, proper oral hygiene and good dietary habits. And if the parents are educated in terms of what needs to be done early on and the child follows those if that continues with them as they grow and can easily prevent disease um, and that without putting the child through unnecessary treatment, pain or infection that makes their experience a lot harder. Not only are we providing direct patient care, we're also on the forefront of public health dentistry in the sense that we're affecting advocacy uh, we're affecting some of the decisions that are being made about oral health, um, conducting research and really paving the way for where pediatric dentistry is headed. Very often the, the gratitude that we get from parents, even despite the challenges, I see that they just feel so relieved that finally there's an answer. There's like an end to their quest and there's a solution of, I know my baby has broken down teeth, I know that they're in pain, I know that they don't behave at the dentist, and now finally there's like a solution in front of them, there's a path that we're gonna take. And that relief that I'm able to provide to the parents for how I'm gonna take care of their children um, makes it worth it, makes those, those hard days worth it.